You're going to set up some wedges so that they're hip width apart. So each foot roughly under each hip socket with the toes pointing forward. You're going to stand on those wedges with the toes pointing forward. And then when you grab a weight, you're going to reach the elbows forward to bring your weight back behind the heels. So that's what the counterweight will be for. If you didn't have a weight here, you would fall backwards with the fact that something heavier is helping me bring my body behind my heels is going to help bring your center of mass backwards. Okay, so this was me not doing anything, immediately goes forward. And then if I reach the bell forward, elbow staying beneath it, don't do it here, elbow stay beneath the bell, that helps me keep my torso long and my back is going to feel a lot longer just from a starting position. So I'm not here, unlock your knees, and then very long torso. So your hips through the torso, through the ribs, through the top of the head, it's very long. And then you're going to take it down. So your knees go forward and your butt drops straight down to your heels. And then you come back up. At no point should you lose pressure in the heel. So your heels should not be coming off the floor or off the wedges. They should stay on the floor as your knees go forward and bring your butt straight down to your heels. The depth doesn't really matter. So if you can go all the way down like me, cool. If you can only make it to here, cool, you push back up. If you can make it to parallel, cool, you push back up. What you don't want to do is stick your butt out and then squat down because that immediately loses range at the hip. You're not going to be able to go down as low as you could. So maintain your setup, maintain the reach so your back is very, is very long, very open. And you can do this with a pause in the bottom. You come down, you come to a full stop, you push up through your foot arches or you can do it without a pause. You can just go straight down, straight up. 